everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Naomi Amber. I haven't been in front of the camera in a long time, but I have a couple videos coming, so make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss anything. But today I'm going to be doing a video that was, was highly requested by a lot of Temple students here on this campus, especially a lot of young freshmen who are here. They wanted me to talk about how to find apartments off campus because after your freshman year a lot of students do move off campus because Temple has a limited amount of housing on campus. The dorms are mostly for freshmen. They do also have like other apartment kind of dorm style buildings like Temple Towers but most people do live off campus after their freshman year. I live off campus right now and I just thought it would be great to get on here and just talk about some of the things that you should know when you're apartment hunting and where to look because a lot of students are just like Naomi where do I even find how to get this apartment like but I got you guys I got y'all got my notes here I got you I got y'all so the first thing that you should know is who you're living with and make sure they want to live in an off-campus apartment because some people they like the idea of it but they don't want to go through the whole process of finding off-campus housing and all that stuff or even want to live off-campus also make sure that their parents are okay with it as well and make sure your parents are okay with it and also knowing who you're living with helps you understand what your budget is going to be and how many bedrooms you need which brings me to my second point you need to know what budget you are going for when looking for these apartments temple apartments they usually range from about four hundred dollars to eight hundred eight hundred dollars and the more money it is, the nicer it's going to be or the closer to campus it's going to be. Lower prices usually means that it's either further away or some. in some cases it means it's further away and bigger and in some cases it just means it's further away. Um, but usually closer apartments, I'm going to say this, on Temple's campus are usually really small and you're you're paying mostly for the distance you're not paying for space or anything like any luxury amenities you're usually just paying for being closer to campus so just keep that in mind when you're looking for apartments which brings me to my next point distance from campus that's another factor for when you're trying to choose what apartment you want um most people like to live on the other side of campus this will be more ave and that has a lot of shops um and it's just a straight shot to campus but most of the apartments on that avenue you're still farther away from campus and you're paying more money but just keep that in mind a lot of pe a lot of students do like to live on that avenue so if you're more comfortable living with a lot of students instead of getting into the residential neighborhoods where like I live then that's your prerogative I guess if you're further from campus the apartments are more than likely going to be bigger if you're a person that likes more space or needs more space then you might have to sacrifice being a little bit further from campus to get that comfortability level that you want another thing that I would talk about is tours I have been on a, a couple tours of a lot of apartments before choosing the one it's really stressful I will say that and especially getting everyone that you're supposed to be living with to see the apartment at the same time as you that's also really hard because we all have different schedules but it's really important to make sure it's you and at least one other person so that so that way you guys can both fill it out and talk to each other about it um, and also make sure you record so that we can send it to the other people that didn't get to make it and these are some questions that I usually ask when I'm on tours I usually ask what's included in the rent and the rent, you, it's usually, typically, typically water is included in the rent. But sometimes water is not included. And you really want to make sure that water is included because you take showers, you wash dishes, you wash your hands, you use the toilet. Like water is everywhere in your house. So to make sure that's a, that it's included so that way you don't go over the rent that you usually pay in a month. Typically electricity is not included in the rent that's something that you're gonna have to pay for extra sometimes it's really really rare but it is out there it's really rare that you find an apartment where there's water electricity and wi-fi included that's very very rare but i do know it's possible i think under mk management they do have some deals where they include all of that but the rent is just higher but at the end of the day it is kind of a it's still a good deal because you're not going to be paying extra or more than what your rent is already written out to be if electricity is not included it's a good question to ask like what do they what do the tenants now typically pay for rent because maybe that can give you a little gauge of how much you're going to be spending after like your rent price so 
Um, sometimes the people aren't going to tell you or they're going to be like, oh, it's different for everybody. But just ask them for an estimate. And if they don't give it to you, if the tenants are there during your tour, you can ask the tenants themselves how much their electricity usually comes out to be. Um, also, you should ask about co-signers for the lease. And then you need to ask for application fees. When you fill out an application for a house, sometimes you're going to have to pay at least $30 to $60 for an application. And only fill out an application when you know for sure this is the house that you want. You do not want to be filling out application fees when you don't even know if this is where you're going to be living. But some places, they don't usually have an application fee. I know for the one that I'm living in next year, it's waived. So... Just ask if you're really interested if there is going to be an application fee. Also, if you're interested in the apartment, ask about security deposits, when the security deposit is due, how much you need, and if the security deposit includes first and last month's rent. Security deposits will actually for the security deposit itself, which is the price of the rent, and first and last month's rent, or they'll just ask you for first and last month's rent, or they can even just ask you for last month's rent. It really varies. It depends on the realtor. It depends on a lot of different things. So just keep that in mind. Make sure you ask questions about pets if you want to have a pet. And security security systems in the place. Um, I know some apartments do have them. Some apartments don't. Um, not a lot do. So don't expect to have security cameras at each place that you look at. Because it's just probably not going to be there. Parking may be another thing you can ask about. And then if you prefer furnished housing, I do know that they have furnished apartments closer to the Cecil side of campus. I live on the other side of campus, which is where J&H is. This is one side, I'm on this side. So it's two different sides that you can live on and then in between there's also housing. This side, I'm telling you it's not a lot of furnished housing, don't even think about it. But on the other side, they do have a lot more furnished housing because like I said, a lot more students tend to live on that side. These are just some places online where I looked for apartments, where I searched for apartments. And these are also some lists of realtors that you guys can check out because they also have their own websites where they post listings. But the main place that I went to to find apartments was Zillow.com. It was really easy to navigate. You can put the bedroom size that you want. You can put the minimum and maximum for the how much you're trying to spend. Um, you can put location. You can put... A whole different um you can put a lot of filters on what you're looking for and i just thought it was a really easy to navigate i could find all the apartments that were around campus sometimes it shows the size who you can call to schedule appointments tours it is a really easy to navigate website other realtors around this campus is mk management um temple villas temple town realty godberg realty jbmp realty um and then some other Temple affiliated off campus housing includes Oxford Village, Diamond Green, University Village, and Cardin Atlantic. All of the stuff that you searched and you went through, you asked all the questions, and you and the people that you're trying to live with, they figure out what they want. Once you know what apartment you want, just make sure you guys set a time schedule for when you guys are gonna put down the security deposit and secure your housing because apartments off campus do go by fast especially if it's a really nice one so make sure you guys are all on the same page you guys all have your money ready at a certain time so that way you guys don't end up losing the apartment that you guys all want and having to go through the whole apartment hunting process again so those are all the tips that i have for apartment hunting on temple's campus i hope this can apply to some other colleges as well or other students that are looking for apartment housing in other schools because the same rules do apply in certain cases such as like rent, water, electricity, all those things you're going to have to ask about when you're apartment hunting. Also budgets, distance, and all those other things. So hopefully you guys took something from this video. And I would just say good luck apartment hunting because I know it's, it's rough. It's a rough, it's a rough. It's a rough process, but I hope this video helped in some kind of way, and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye!